I'm going to give myself one hour in the mats to see if I can hit some numbers and still in video. I'm shooting 4K 60, so this is an arbitrary UHD golden section rectangle, which I can also use for 2K verticals on social. And for stills, it'll be the 1.5 golden section rectangle, which is a 35mm full frame, also for both vertical and horizontal. With video, when you get in those ranges, it's not going to stay there for very long, so I'm going to pause or slow down those areas when I think we have a good match. And if there's scenes like this where the inner squares work really well, I'm going to incorporate those too. That's a really traditional method of using both in combination, golden section with the squares. But I don't want to complicate things too much, so I'm just going to add those where they're relevant. You can see the diagonals are pretty different in both. So when one area is lacking and needs direction, the other quickly fills in. And also, I get to crop too, because I'm not a creative genius, I'm just a working pro that's trying to make things work. Here comes the square and a few really simple, obvious elements of design. This one's not bad as it is, but if you really want to be efficient and get rid of waste, it could use some cropping. I'm fleshing out the secondary reciprocals here because they actually serve a purpose, so here it is without the primary. This annoying element can definitely be removed and then the flag extended to minimize competing contrast. And then a few super obvious repeating diagonals. This was moving fast and shot in a sequence, and this one also works. You can see here how nothing's really exact, it's just in the general area, and that's good enough. This is videography, not painting. Really, it's just the basics that matter, and in this case, less is more. This one could use a little cropping. I'm going to add the square and do that. Using the square in combination with the golden section is a very traditional thing. While technically it's a compound grid, this is not compound golden section rectangles. That's significantly more advanced. But it is the starting point to get there. And now that you're getting used to looking at it, the complexity shouldn't be that overwhelming, so I'm going to show it one more time on both sides. And here's the last batch of stills. It's important to note this is just a small percentage of what I actually shot. No way I'm going to nail every shot every time. These are just the ones that work best. And after this, I'm going to include a little bit about kit and the workflow related to this for efficiency. My kit for this was a Sony A1 with a new 70-200 macro and the A7S III with the 24-70 F4 which is mounted on a Ronin RS3 Pro with a monopod extension, and that gives me really smooth movement. I love to tilt the camera for design. I can get the extremes of in and out, low to high, really easily from a standing position, and it's super ergonomic in the wrists. And for the B-roll in the A1, I can break the monopod down and get those really nice floor-level pans. And this is the room. Ceiling-mounted CFLs, though it's fairly dark in there. I'm keeping around the A1 second native ISO of 4000, 125th of a second for 4K 60p, and F4.